Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to this week's Sub Saturdays. This one's going to be a bit different, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a complete guide slash walkthrough slash let's play for the game Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy, which has taken the internet by storm. It just blew up on Twitch, and it has been consuming my life for the past two weeks or so. Uh, you may have seen that I uploaded a video on this channel of me beating this game. That was my first time. And I beat it in about 13 hours. Since then, I beat it again, and it only took me an hour and a half. So, I like to think that I've gotten decent at this game. By no means in anywhere near, you know, the, the level of uh, quality that speedrunners have where they could beat this game in like three minutes. But I decided, why not make a video just, you know, as a guide? I, I, I have not seen a video on the internet of that yet, and I'm sure it, there exists one. But I think that I can, you know, provide some insight for people trying to beat this game. Uh, so I'll talk a little bit more about it as we move along. But basically, it's just physics-based. Uh, you're playing this guy here, and I do know his name, but I'm not going to say it yet. It's a bit of a spoiler. And you need to use your sort of sledgehammer here. Uh, we're, I'm just going to refer to it as a sledgehammer because that's really what it is. To sort of swing yourself up and around obstacles no more like so. Now we have a, a voiceover here, which I'll let you listen for the first time and then I will disable it because he talks quite a bit and it's better to just save it for your first playthrough. If you want some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you want an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that like, if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. <clears throat> I'll be here. Well, that's not what we're going to do, Mr. Bennett Foddy. So that is the developer telling us about this right. game. And Thanks like I said, I'm going to go ahead and, and delete or mute this now so that you guys do not get spoiled here. Because I'm going to be talking quite a lot during this walkthrough. And uh, it's quite interesting, his lines of dialogue. And it just it's, it doesn't make sense because he talks, like I said, for, for quite a while. So I'm just going to uh, take that away. And also the music volume. Um, it's just going to be me, you, and the voice of this uh, this guy here and his grunts and things like that. You can see my options here. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. The only thing that matters, I guess, is mouse sensitivity. Um, I recently put it all the way up. Usually, I had it at the uh, default. So that's... Oh, wow. Yeah, that'll happen sometimes, too, where you pause the screen and then you just mess up because you've sort of got an input uh, cued or something like that. Okay, so let's start talking about, you know, how to beat this game, uh, which we will be doing in this video. I'm not sure how long it'll take me. Ideally... It'll take me, you know, shorter than um, my previous attempt, which was, like I said, about an hour and uh, 30 minutes, which I think is pretty good for someone's second time. You know what I mean? I mean, this game, a lot of people don't ever finish it. If you look at the Steam page, uh, this game is not out on Steam at the time of creating this video, but it will be out. Uh, he says that the, I forget what his terminology was, but he said that most people never even finished it in his play testing, but um, some people took like five hours. So this part's a little tricky. Uh, we're just going to launch ourselves over to the right like so, and this part is the first truly challenging part of the run so far. Um, a lot of people have difficulty here, and I definitely did when I first played this game. It's not so hard once you get the hang of it. It's called the Devil's Chimney, but we're going to launch ourselves up. It's kind of just, it's really finicky. That's the whole thing, because the floor under here, um, the floor that we're on right now, is very slippery. So it's hard to get, like, a, a good traction. But that's basically what you want to do. You want to hook yourself onto that lantern, and then what I do is I just shove down with my mouse sort of as hard as possible, and it seems to be like a 50-50 chance if you can get the axe over the next one like that, but yeah, just I just shove that mouse down until it sort of springs me up, and then I rest right about here. So now we're going to sort of pull ourselves up and over right onto this rock. I have seen so many people... Uh, let me adjust my screen really quick, ladies and gentlemen. It's too close. My face is too close to the monitor. I'm going to pull this back a bit. There we go. That's much nicer. Okay. <clears throat> my voice is way more raspy than I would have liked. It's sort of early in the morning, but I was excited to start this playthrough. Uh, I have seen a lot of people launch themselves up and over to the left, and that pretty much starts you over. Um, so you don't, definitely don't want to do that. Just be very careful there. Uh, that's, that's the whole thing about this game. Just don't be hasty. 
Um, you might watch some speed runs and they are very hasty, but obviously if you're playing this for the first time, you're just going to screw yourself over. So this part's pretty easy just because you can't really um, start over unless you really mess up. But basically you're just trying to find the right angle to launch yourself. Uh, you don't have to launch yourself too. You can take it slow and sort of you know, slowly pull yourself up here. But this part is generally pretty easy. So it's not really recommended to take a lot of time because all you really have to do is sort of just throw shit at a wall and see what sticks for this one. Okay, now what we're trying to do is hit the railing here. And this part is, I mean, like, pretty much impossible to fall off. I have never fallen off this part. Um, it's just a little tricky to move yourself over. Basically, yeah, we're just trying to swing ourselves across this uh, metal pole here. Oh, now that was close. See, I could have fallen there if my um, sledgehammer went through here and then I swung a little bit to the right. But that didn't happen, so we're going to go ahead and move on. Uh, we're making good progress here. Now, I'm going to show you guys a skip that speedrunners do. And if you can master it, you know, all power to you. I cannot do it. It's it's too hard for me. But basically, what they do is they latch onto this uh, edge of the roof right here. And they just launch themselves up. And sort of, if you saw there was there were things up there, uh, they... Yeah, they, they just start to grab it and start to pull themselves up. And then, and that skips the whole section to our left, which you'll see. I'll try it one more time. I haven't even been able to, like, grab the, you know, to even touch those things except for one time. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. But that is what speedrunners do. They do a little skip there. Um, I have not been able to do it. So this part is the first part where you can really lose a ton of progress. If we fall to the left, and I guess I'll just show you. If we fall down here and to the right, there is a place, you can see that wooden plank down there, and then there's sort of a uh, a stone barrier that, that is your last hope. If you fall down there and hit the stone barrier and fall even more to the right, you'll go like pretty much all the way back to the beginning. So this is, you know, during, this is the first spot where people really get frustrated, I think, because uh, they can definitely lose like all their progress. Okay, now this part is going to go a little fast, uh, just because I've always done it fast, but I'll show you a recent strategy that I figured out as well. Uh, let's see, let's get a little bit closer to that. Yeah, and then you basically go up the wheelbarrow, and then you go up to the rake. Now, normally, what I would have done here is I would have kept swinging and just, you know, swung on top of the slide. But I'd say there's about a 20% chance that you're going to get a bad angle on the slide. And then fall off to the right, which does give you a chance of, you know, completely starting over. So what I recently learned to do this more, um, what's the word, to, to be more consistent with this, is to just prop yourself up on the rake. I don't know why I didn't think to do that before, but you can definitely do that. And then we can grab the slide at our leisure and pull ourselves up slowly and get ourselves on uh, the second leg of the slide, like right here. And then as long as you get, you know, within this little uh, wooden area, you're fine. So there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pogo up to these boxes. Um, it is very hard to fall on these boxes. I mean, you really have to mess up. So I don't really get scared jumping to these boxes ever. This part's a little tricky, however. What I like to do here is sort of hover in the middle of the air. Oh, oh, oh that was a little bad, but it's, <laughs> it's okay. We got, we got a second chance. Yeah, I guess I should des describe what I'm doing before I actually do it. So what I like to do is hover in the middle in the air and then um, swing my axe or swing my hammer into the middle of the air like straight up and then grab the bottom right section of boxes before I completely fall. It it's going to be fast, but that's what I'm doing. So like that. And it's very rare that you'll actually fall down as long as you grab those boxes. So again... I'm hovering in the middle of the air at a nice, you know, sort of angle that I'll just drop straight down. And then as soon as I lift my sledgehammer above my head, I lift it straight up. So I fall down the little, you know, hallway and then I just swing over to the right. It's all about timing for that one. There's probably easier ways to do that, but that's what I have done. Oh my God. All right. So we got a little hasty there. We almost completely messed up. That'll happen over and over again. Okay. So what we're going to do here, this is the first... I mean, was there another truly tricky situation? This is the actual, I, I would say, actual first challenge. Because if we mess up here, we'll fall down. And you'll start back again at the house area. It's not the biggest deal, but it's just annoying. So what we're going to do here, again, I'm going to explain what I'm going to do before I actually do it. 
It's one thing to see me do it. It's another thing to actually do it yourself. I'm going to place my hammer sort of in the middle of these boxes and then wedge myself or sort of, um, you know, go out on an angle um, and hover in the air. And then I'm going to spring forward at that angle, trying to go up and to the right, like northeast uh, through that shaft. And I'm going to like slam my hammer into the right section of stairs and then again into the left section of that blue wall and then back and forth to sort of bring myself up with momentum, with inertia, whatever you want to call it. It's tricky to explain, so I'll just go ahead and do it. Uh, this part can be tricky. I think that's good. I'm trying to just get on top of that chair. There we go. We did it. Okay. Yeah, so again, I'll try to explain that. Um, basically, you just launch yourself at an angle. You want to grab the... Uh, I'm going to get right over here. You want to, like, sort of swing your hammer into the stairs and use that to push you into the blue part and then back and forth, back and forth, constantly bringing yourself up. As long as you're going, like, left to right, you'll keep moving upwards, and then when you grab that white chair, you're good to go. Okay, so we're going to take a quick break here, and I will be right back. Okay, let's get right back to it. Now, the thing about this game, ladies and gentlemen, is that everything before that we just did uh, is easy. <laughs> uh, the hard parts are still yet to come. So, yeah, this game is, it just gets incrementally harder. Okay, so once you're in this era, you're pretty much safe um, for a little bit. What we're going to do now is we're going to pogo off of this white chair and grab ourselves the security camera over here. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I'm doing, if it's your first time, it's going to look really easy, and it's not, as you will see. You'll probably fall. Look, you're not going to play this game and not, like, reset your progress at least probably, like, five times, I would say, on average. Unless you're just a prodigy, and somehow you manage to just, you know, make this game your bitch. Uh, for the most part, though, don't play this game if you think that you're going to do it in one fell swoop. Because trust me, you're not. All right, let's launch ourselves upwards and grab... Oh, okay. All right, that was a bad fall. Um, usually, like I said, you're pretty safe here. And as you can see, we still we still collected ourselves, but there can be some bad falls in this area. Um, this part is annoying just because uh, it seems to be dependent on the day how, how nice it wants to be. And I'll show you guys what I mean in a second here. So again, we're going to rest on the security camera, and we're going to launch ourselves over to the white sofa. Oh, 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 oh okay. I need to be a little bit slower here, being too hasty. Take advice from our good friend Treebeard from the Lord of the Rings, and just don't be hasty. So, launch over, grab the white sofa. Now we're trying to launch ourselves upwards and grab... Okay, we're going a little fast here because I kind of have to. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, so that's... That's exactly why this place is tricky, is because it's really congested. There's a lot of things all over the place, and if you can just hit them with your hammer, and then it'll start sending you in areas that you don't want to go to. So we're going to try this one more time. Okay. All right, that was pretty good. Now we can pogo upwards and sort of grab this. I think we're good here. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people do this fast. Speedrunners do this fast. Um, they do the whole game fast, but this particular part, it's the reason they do it so fast is because they don't have to. Oh, see what I mean? See what I mean? Yeah, you'll just start launching yourself in all sorts of dif uh, different directions. But like I said, it's really hard to fall all the way down here. Um, okay, so now that we're on the commode, we want to launch ourselves up and over to the right and then grab this area. And I'm just going to do things slow here, even though normally I do these uh, pretty fast because, again, you just you, there's not really a chance that you're going to uh, fall all the way down. So once you're here, you're pretty much safe. Um, there's only one place that you can fall you need to be really careful of. We're going to wedge ourselves against this chair and then bring ourselves over like this down there to the right is what i'm talking about um right below me pretty much if you fall down there you i don't know where you go because i've actually never fell down there but you don't want to fall down there is my point and now we're going to pogo over here to the right and he's going to start talking about citrus but we are going to say no to your voiceover we're going to get a little bit closer i'm going to cough don't be scared <coughs> thank you for not being scared Okay, and we're going to say no to citrus. <laughs> Push that orange clean off. All right, now this was a really tricky part for my first playthrough. Uh, I'll explain two ways to do this. I call this the Wiganator table because someone donated uh, named Wiganator. Shout out to you, like right around the time we got to this table. 
Uh, speaking of, that, um, that security camera back there is known as the $15 security camera because two people donated and it uh, combined for $15. My voice didn't crack there. Don't worry about it. All right, so there's two strategies to do here. We can pogo up and then grab the rock, um, or we can hang off and swing. Now, traditionally, I hung off and swung around like this. Obviously, this is really scary for your first time. But see, that is exactly why... Oh, my God. That's exact. Yeah. So, it's it's been doing that to me lately, and I like the pogo more. It, it, this game is weird with strategies. Sometimes... By the way, yeah, we just fell all the way back to the start. And, again, normally this would be debilitating <laughs> if you're playing it your first time. And, you know, you, you'd be part of one of those clips on YouTube or on Twitch where people would be like, No! And just screaming. But... I have played this game so many times that that's not even that big of a deal. Um, I'll get up there. It's going to take some time, so I'm going to cut in a second. But I want to talk a little bit more about this game before I do cut. Um, yeah, so, so right there. That spot is tricky. That's not even the trickiest spot of that section. The problem is it seems pretty finicky with me lately where usually I would just swing up and over and it would work out pretty much every time. But lately when I do it, it's trying to... Um, it's just, it's just constantly launch, launching me off, so I think pogoing is better. Um, that, that seems to be the case for a lot of situations. Uh, just pogoing seems to be better than, than trying to swing, because swinging can be really finicky. Although, again, in my first playthrough, it was the opposite. Pogoing was really finicky, and swinging was the one that was getting me places. So I am going to make my way back up to where we were. Uh, come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, like I said, a lot of people launch themselves up and over to the left, and they just fall off. And I have never done that, so I don't, I don't know why that's such a thing. Like, <laughs> it, you you literally have to put your hammer up and over this rock here, and then sort of launch yourself over into the left. And it's just, it's just something I don't have an issue with. All right, guys, I will see you back where we were. <clears throat> All right, so here we are again, and the rule I'm going to utilize for this guide slash walkthrough is if I fail a big drop like twice, I am just going to um, cut until I do it because it's good. It, it, this game also messes with your mind. It's the type of thing where, you know, if you start failing multiple times, you'll get a little tilted, and then you'll start messing up everywhere. So I don't want that to happen. So, and if, you know, I'm not commentating. I can have complete silence. All right, so we're going to try the pogo method this time. Um, I feel like it is more consistent for me now, but it is a little bit scarier because if you get a bad angle, obviously, you know, you can launch off to the left. And you saw if you go a little too high, you will launch off the cars, and then you have to restart pretty much all over again. So basically what we're trying to do here is pogo up and grab the rock to the right. Uh, it's all about timing pretty much. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the problem with these rocks are that, is that, they're pretty slippery, and this part is uh, challenging to say the least. This is probably, I wouldn't say the trickiest part so far, it's just the, uh, it's just like the, um, I don't know, it's, I don't know how to, it's like the toughest part, if that makes sense, like, like, the tricky part where you have to launch yourself into the stairs in the blue wall, it's tricky, but it's like a 50-50 chance if you're going to do it or not. You know what I mean? Whereas this part, you can fall really easily. So, what we need to do here is launch or pull ourselves upward and um, place ourselves nicely. I need to be quiet here because things can go really bad. Okay, this is pretty good. All right. Yeah, all of these rocks pretty much have a chance to send you flying to the left. Now, that's a pretty good spot to be. So, this part is by far the hardest right here. As you can see, this rock is sloped uh, at a pretty menacing angle. What we're going to do is grab the very edge of it, uh, where it is the most sort of flat, like right here. We're going to slowly pull ourselves up into a pogo and then launch up and grab the rock to the top right. Now that's a lot to say, and it's ent an entirely different thing to do it, but you're just going to have to watch because this part is, yeah, it's very tricky and you can slip off easily, but let's do it. Oh. Yeah, see there? Okay. Yeah, this part um, is really, really, really annoying and fickle, uh, and I have not been having good luck with it lately as I have been before. I'm wondering if I should just launch myself 
uh, up and over this rock above me. Whoop. No, I should not. No, I should not. Whoop. Okay. All right, we didn't get a full reset. Yeah, this part, it's just the thing is that they're really, really slippery. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah. I haven't... Yeah, I was mentioning this before. There are certain areas in this game that, you know, were fine on separate playthroughs, but are giving me a lot of trouble uh, today and over the past couple of days. And this is one of them. This is, this is a part that I was able to do fine before, but now it's messing me up here and there. All right, so let's... Okay, I don't like that. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. I don't like that angle that I got onto. Come on. There we go. Okay. Your your hammer will slide when you get to places like this, but it's okay. Uh, because, you know, the the fulcrum will change, I guess you could say. Alright, now this heart, yeah, seriously, it's it's tricky. You sort of just have to find the right balance between you know, lifting yourself up and over and then po once you get into the pogo position, it's not that hard. I mean, I, you know, you, you can mess it up, but if you pogo and then swing your hammer around, if you get good at doing that, it's, it's not that difficult. I'm just wondering, is there any other, is there any other way to do this? I wonder, I don't know. I think I usually do. Yeah. Just grab it, pull myself up and pogo. There we go. Okay. So that's what we wanted. Now. Okay. Alright. That is... F yeah. That part is very, 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 very tricky the first time you do it. It's it's really an annoying part. Um, but we got it. So we're going to wedge ourselves... This part you can, you know, you can kind of breathe, but it's... it's You're not out of the woods just yet. Uh, we can wedge ourselves over to the right like that. Okay. Well, it doesn't really matter because what we need to do now, obviously, is pogo up and grab that um, that cat's head. Uh, this, yeah, the first time you play this game, pogoing can be really scary, especially because if you spaghetti it, you can clearly, like, push off the right side and then you'll just go to the left side and you'll have to start over again. So we're just wanting to pogo up and reach around and grab the top of this uh, cat's head. Oh, that was, oh, my God. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, how far are we gonna go? Down here? Alright. See you guys at the top! Alright, I got I got up here again pretty quickly. Um, I'm happy with that. Yeah, usually I don't mess up this uh, mess up this much with these different areas. I this this run is a little rough. Um, it's probably because I'm recording and talking. It takes, you know, a little bit. <laughs> that being said, I mean, I was having a much easier time on stream. Anyways, here we are again. Again, you just sort of want to launch yourself straight up. I, I don't think I ever failed uh, this particular part. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't think I failed that ever until that moment that you just saw. Now, we have a, a bit of a trickier... Same idea here, but it's a little bit trickier. Uh, but it's nothing that you can't handle. There we go. That was pretty good. And then we just got one more, and we are pretty much safe. Uh, your hammer can wedge here, and it's really, like, sort of disheartening. You kind of just have to, you know, uh, move it around until it works out. Come on now. Yeah, this part can be really annoying because your my hammer gets wedged in there, like, pretty much every time. Okay, now I am going to take my headphones off for, you know, just one second, but I'm going to make this jump as well. Uh, just same thing, up and over, grab it, and then pull yourself up. Jump scare, yeah. Luckily, the first time that I played this game on stream, I saw that uh, in a clip. I didn't spoil, I, I, I beat this game the first time completely blind, except for like two clips. I saw a section later on, and I saw this section. Um, so I knew that jump scare was coming the first time. Okay, so we're pretty much almost out of the clear. We just need to get up and over this uh, bell tower, and we're good. So we need to grab onto that little ledge there, like so. Uh, you don't have to be too scared of this part, though, because, um, you know, the ledges that they give you are pretty... As long as you take it slow, you're all good. And we can pull our axe over here. Uh, this part can be pretty tricky as well, but... You want to wedge yourself right there. You want to grab sort of the edge and just up and yeah, it'll slip down though. Yeah, this part's really annoying because uh, it's just like, you know, you've gotten through so much and you just want to get yourself over, but there's like one more trial and it's sort of getting up and over. There we go. All right. So once you're here, actually, I should say once you're above this rock, as long as you don't spaghetti it. Okay. Can you just get me over that rock, buddy? Come on. There we go. All right. 
Here you can breathe. Unless you really, 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 really mess up, you're, you're pretty much safe here. Um, now begins sort of the, I, I guess I would say, second half of the game. What we got through, I, I would consider it the first half. Um, it's sort of, there's easy parts in this section coming up, and then there's hard parts. Um, everything pretty much for the most part coming up is easy it's just really finicky this rock right here i'm not even going to say what we called it on stream because it's sort of insulting but this to the person that i named it after but this part is horrible this was a part that i was stuck on for so long just trying to get over it, it's the whole point of this is it's a very precise jump let's see if we can get it first try you just need a pogo up and then grab the top of the you know slope to the right but it's it's so tricky man it's so so you'll get jumps like that and you'll just fall back thank god he did not put like a drop here because if he did i couldn't even beat this game because this rock is the worst in the whole game for me this this jump right here is the worst uh, i remember we um you know i but the first time i beat this game it took like i said like uh 12 hours and 50 minutes something like that and uh there was one stream i did where and all of that was on stream, like literally all of it. There was one stream where um, it was a drunk stream, and I was literally like stuck on this rock for I don't know how long, like a straight hour. It's it's debilitating, man. Um, I've gotten better at it, but still, it's I hate it because like that's pretty much what you just saw right there. That's every time I jump is that same thing. In fact, I might have to cut here because it takes so long. It's not like there's a particular strategy. Right where I put the head of my hammer is pretty much where i jump every time and where i've seen most people jump but as you can see it's just really finicky um i hate this jump i i curse this jump so many times on stream i think that it's just dumb because it's not like you know if you mess it up you're gonna have any serious repercussions it's just that it takes 10 years to do and it seems like everybody that plays this game has one specific area that they're that they're bad at and this is mine this is my least favorite area in in pretty much the whole game i mean you can take me to any part of the whole entire game and it's this rock that i hate the most and again it's silly because it's like you know you can't fall here you can't okay we're gonna get it now uh, see what i mean it's like every jump you do it's just like a little short and it's really really annoying you just have to get the perfect angle so it takes me like a hundred tries to do it uh we're gonna try it a couple more times and then i'm just gonna cut because yeah seriously this part is just awful man it really is and i think the part coming up right after more people have trouble with but for some for whatever reason man this rock i don't know what that was um yeah for whatever reason this rock man just is is cancerous to me come on Oh, that's a pretty good one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we want to get that hat out of there, too. It's just a prop. Um, but it can mess you up. All right, so this is known as the anvil jump. And this apparently, yeah, more people have trouble with than that rock before. Uh, I have trouble with this, too, but it's not as bad. Basically, what we want to do here is we want to put ourselves right on the edge of the anvil and launch hard and fast up to the top right. Whoop. And uh, as you'll see, a lot of the jumps are way too low. It's, again, just like the previous rock. These two jumps are the most annoying in the whole entire game. And I hate them. And to be honest, I don't even think they need to be in the game. Wow, okay, we got pretty lucky there. So that's pretty much what you need to do. Um, but, yeah, I don't know why they're in the game. Because other parts of this game are just hard. These two parts, it's not that they're hard. It's just that they're, like, super mega annoying. Because it's it has to be like the perfect storm. Th those are the only two jumps, pretty much in the whole game that I that I hate and detest. The anvil is is not as bad as the uh, the previous one for me, but they're both bad. Anyways, moving on. What we're gonna do here is we're going to pogo up and grab the rock to the right. Obviously, if you miss that, you have to do the anvil jump again, or maybe even the uh, the rock jump. Okay, so this part's tricky, but it's honestly not as hard for as the uh, as the previous part. So you don't got to worry about it too much. Uh, you don't want to go up to the top right. That's a little, you know, misleading area over there. We want to pogo over here and then grab the rock. And uh, there's oh my god. Okay, that's never happened before. Whoa, 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 whoa! Calm down, calm down. Okay, yeah. Um, there's a bunch of different strategies to do here. I'll show you what I do. Seems to be pretty consistent every time. 
Uh, Pogo over to the rock. And then what I do is I grab the sort of left edge like this. And I swing over. Okay. And you just kind of have to have faith. You will land on this snowman. I promise you. You just don't spaghetti it. You know, just have faith that you'll do it correctly. And you'll do it. I promise. And now you want to do the same thing for this. Uh, this one, you usually jump off like that. Yeah, that's normal. And then you sort of have to catch yourself. This one, I have heard that you need a pogo. But I don't actually know if you need a pogo or not. I, I'm pretty sure I have done it just by swinging over like the last ones. But uh, I, have, I always pogo. There was a guy that um, was a speedrunner of this game. And he started hosting my streams when I was streaming this for the first time blind. And uh, he said you need a pogo that one. I, I'm pretty sure, like I said, that I have I have swung over, but I pogo, and it seems to work every time. And now we just want to pogo la one last time. There we go. That was, yeah, one cycle rock jump area, whatever you want to call it. Uh, now we just want to swing. You can spaghetti here, but it's really hard to do. Just pogo and go like that. Okay. All right. We're making pretty good progress here. I'm going to take a sip of well-deserved water, I think. Use this time to say, if you're new to the channel, I don't know, this, this video has the potential to, to go somewhat big, you know, if, if um, people are still playing this game. This game is still yet to be fully released on Steam, so, you know, if, if this video has a chance to get some views just because people might search for a guide on how to beat this. And if you are one of those people, hi, my name is Grovana, and uh, nice to meet you. I do Fallout, Elder Scrolls, RPGs on this channel, uh, Let's Plays for the most part. But this game, like I said, has consumed my life, and... I just figured I'd make a guide for it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to spoil what that snake is. If you don't want to be spoiled, skip until, like, I make the first jump for this bucket. Like, until you see me jumping for this bucket. Uh, if you don't want to know what riding the snake does. But I just want to let people know, you know, that... Uh, I'm going to spoil it now. That if you hook onto that snake, uh, you go back to the start of the game. So, there's not really any reason to do that. I did get up to this point again on my stream just to show people what would happen. Uh, but there's not really any... I don't know why you would do that. Um, it's just kind of there, I guess, to tempt you. Well, maybe that's why it's the snake. It tempts you, like in the Garden of Eden. Oh, I never thought about that. I was like, okay, it's just a random snake, huh? Yeah, you actually don't want to ride it. So... Now we're going to try to go for the bucket. This jump's really annoying. I might have to cut here as well. Um, this jump can take, like, first try to forever. This part, I would say, honestly, uh, no. Th yeah, there's some tricky parts coming up, but this part is, is generally really hard. What you want to do is you want to jump up and grab the bucket and stabilize yourself in the middle. Uh, there's a way to do this where you just jump up and sort of slowly bring your axe in a windmill on top of the bucket. And that makes it so that there's no, like, it doesn't shake the bucket violently and you don't fall off. It's hard to do. I haven't really been able to do it, so we're just going to go for it. That was kind of like what I was talking about. Again, I was still uh, sort of jittery with my axe, with my uh, hammer swing. But see, okay, see, that's what you want to do pretty much. But as you can see, it's really finicky. Um, a lot of the time, the bucket will just, you know, sort of bounce and you'll fall off of it. And then it'll start swinging as well. And uh, it'll just make it harder to grab onto. This part is infinitely annoying it's uh just sort of trial and error you can get okay see there we go that's a bad angle though um now we sort of have to swing i'm gonna go for it anyways but you just have to like sort of swing and as you swing more and more uh, you'll get sort of more momentum i'm gonna go on the next one no we're not getting enough momentum i think it's because of my angle maybe if i pull myself okay yeah this is not gonna work out you can pull yourself onto the bucket but that's not gonna do what you think you want it to do um I'm going to try, like, a really weird strategy here. Yeah. If you actually get on the bucket like that, you would think that, you know, it might help you out. It doesn't. It doesn't really do anything. So, now begins the trial of the bucket. We're going to give it a few more tries, and, yeah, I'm just going to... Oh, man. You don't want to do that. You can totally spaghetti it like that and then just fall off. Main priority here, though, is do not fall onto the snake. Even if you're falling over to the left, it's better to... Uh, just fall off to the left and grab that snake. Because if you grab that snake, yeah, you're going all the way back to the start of the game. And I have seen many a clip where people do that. And luckily, it's never happened to me. But that is so debilitating. 
All right, a lot of people say you don't want to grab it on the right side like this, but I'm going to do it anyways. You're trying to get to the top right. Okay, that's way too fast. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the area that you want to grab the bucket is sort of in the middle. <sighs> this part's so annoying, man. I, I get This is the part that I get stuck on. Um, this is pretty much the only part these days that I get stuck on is this bucket. Uh, the other parts are annoying and finicky, but... Yeah, this this part is is super annoying. I, I've said many times on stream, I just wish he put like a lip on the bucket so that your your pickaxe sort of fits in there, because it's again, it's just like with the rocks before. It's not like it's it's not like you're really gonna fail if you miss it. Like the other things, like the the stairs and the blue wall. If you fail that, you fall down. So there's a consequence. There's no consequence for this. You just have to start over and over and over again, and it's just it's just annoying. Um, if he put a lip on the bucket, at least you'd be able to grab the bucket. Okay. Again, that's kind of a bad angle, but we're going to go for it. Let's see. Oh! Okay, no. that might be... Oh, my God. Yeah, and far too often, you'll just go straight up in the air and then fall back down. I'll see you guys when I do this. This could take literally, like, ten years. Not literally, but you know what I mean. Okay. All right. Well, that is not usually how you do it, but it worked. Yeah, that uh, that bucket, you can employ a lot of different strategies for it, um, honestly. It's it's just, it's a, it's, it's a bitch is what it is. And do whatever you want to do. Oh, my God. Okay, let's not fall off here. Jeez Louise. Do whatever you want to do to make it work for you. Uh, if you fall onto the wooden part to the left, what we're, what we're going to do is pogo to the right. If you fall onto the right, if you somehow get up to the right, you can grab the mountain and sort of swing yourself over. I feel like that's better. You don't really need to get on this wooden section, but... Again, we're going to pogo. Oh, my God. That was a weak pogo. <laughs> oh, this bucket part is so gosh darn frustrating, man. It really, really is. All right. I'll see you guys again. Okay, well, that works. If we get up here, we can easily launch ourselves over to the right. Yeah, man, that took me way too long. That bucket. Well, I said I was going to talk to you guys when I got to the top, so at least let's get to the top first. Yeah, that should work. Okay, yeah, that bucket, man, ugh, it's not It's not hard. It just takes forever for you to get a good, like, angle on it. Okay, and this begins sort of the last, the second to last trial. Um... I'll go ahead and, and spoil the trick here because a lot of people are going to come to this place like me and not realize what the hell you're supposed to do. So the thing with this part here, as you can see, it looks a bit um, steep, right? Like how could you climb this? There are certain divots in this mountain, like right here. They're really hard to find, but your hammer will go into them. So what you want to do is you want to find them, pull yourself up, tilt yourself to the right, and then lower, your, lower yourself down so that sometimes you'll tilt back over to the left, but that's okay. Uh, and basically, that's what you're doing here. Um, so, you're basically, like, really gently putting your axe into these, putting your hammer into these uh, little divots. Um, once you do this, you know, a bunch of times, they're easier to find. But once you find them, it's very small. It's just going to take practice because they are, yeah, they're extremely small. And you'll probably fall off a bunch of times. But when you find them, you want to sort of lower yourself in and that's best case scenario right there where you're tilted to the right and you're sort of in the little in the little dip uh some of them are in weird locations as we will see like this one right here i forget where it is um and there's one that i think you have to launch yourself okay so here's this one see it'll go in the hammer will go in a little bit more See, I'd rather do this any day than do the bucket part. The bucket part is just real annoying. Okay, and again, tilt and fall down. The reason we tilt is that if you tilt, you're going to have uh, a better chance of not falling off to the left. These little divots are very, very small. Okay, and see, we still tilt to the left. Um, as long as you don't put too much pressure when you're trying to find these uh, little divots, you won't fall off to the left. You're sort of wedged in there, you know? 
Uh, there's one, like I said, that's in a weird... There's one that you have to launch yourself higher to find. And I always forget which one it is. Is it this one? I could have swore... Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to put our... Uh, where is it? I don't want to fall off. Okay. Somehow I found it. I'm just going to, like, launch myself. Uh, that wasn't good. Yeah. So this part's just, again, just annoying more than anything. It's not so much hard. It's just finding the divots. And you can try to, like, sort of speed up there. Um... You do have a chance to kind of, like, grab spots that aren't the divots and pull yourself up. Like, right there. That wasn't a divot. Um, yet, I was about to, you know, pull myself up. Okay, let's try getting to where we just were. Let's put this, put ourselves in there, like so. Yeah, this one, I don't know where it is. Uh, you might have to be leaning to the... Let's see, and then he goes back to the left. It seems to be that when you can't find it, it's always um, a little bit higher, or at least one of them is, and it's probably this one. So if I can just wedge myself like that and not push myself over to the right. Okay, don't go to the right. And now it may be at the top of my reach here, is it? No. So where is this one? I'm pretty sure it doesn't start being out of your reach until higher up. So it should be somewhere over here. Did I just miss it? It could be really close as well. Where is this one for real? Huh. I don't know. Yeah, sometimes they seem to just disappear on you. They're not actually disappearing, but... Okay. Um... Let's try to do the fast way. I'm going to sort of just swing around again and see if I can find it. Yeah, where the hell is it? Yeah, as long as you're a little ballsy, you can swing fast. Uh, you can still mess up, clearly. God, yeah, there's always one that I forget where it is. And it's this one. Like, I don't know where... Okay, so that worked out for us, but... Again, you should be able to find, like, where they are. Um, that was a little weird. Is this one? I feel like it's not, and I'm just sort of on the edge. Okay. Well, you can get on the... Like, for this specific part right here, you can get on the edge as well. Um, it's tricky, but you can. All right. So now we're going to grab right here. There is a divot right here. Again, if there's that sort of little shadow, there is a divot, and the hammer will start to sort of, like, fall out of it but you can wedge yourself in it, like so. Okay, and then finally we can wedge ourselves right in the middle of this. That was just the first leg. Now you gotta do it all over again for all of this, which is obviously super duper fun. Um, but I do, I think I have a better knowledge of where these are here. Okay, so. it should The first one should be really close, yeah. Yeah, the first one's really close. It's, like, right at the start. And again, you can do this just by launching yourself up the mountain. It's not really recommended, especially if it's your first try. But you can do that if you want. Alright, now the second one should be somewhere around... I think it's a little above this. Yeah. It's a little above this little crease or this little corner. This little tiny corner. Okay, I think this is the tricky one, by the way. But you should be able to reach it if you get to the edge of your grasp we might have to be tilted to the right i'm not sure but if we reach all the way up yeah there it is we just got it okay this should be the last one actually no there, there might be one more okay we're gonna get inside of this one yeah we want to tilt ourselves like that tilting is always good here but half the time you fall back down Okay, now there should be one more, actually. Yep, there it is. Yeah, the, it's weird because the top leg of the mountain is easier than the bottom leg because it's always pretty much at the end of your grasp. All right, now this is the last tricky part of the game, pretty much. If you can get... 
Okay, let's tilt. Uh, yeah, you'll lean over to the right. Don't freak out. You'll most likely... I, there's maybe like a 5% chance you'll actually fall off. Okay. All right. If you can get over this part, you're golden. Pretty much. Um, Got to remember what I do here. So, let's see. What do I do here? Do I... There's, there's kind of two ways to do this. You can grab right here, sort of, and lift yourself up over, then pogo and grab the edge and start pulling yourself up. Or you can pogo right where I'm at, right here. In fact, it almost seems like that's better, in all honesty. Maybe we should just do it this way. I feel like this way might actually be better. Um, or maybe not. I don't know. I'll have to see. But you can pogo... Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to pogo up and over to the right. And then... Yeah. Yeah. Now, what you can also do there is you can um, sort of, yeah, reach your hammer into the crease before it turns in. I know this is hard, but go back to the video and you'll see what I mean. You can put your hammer into the crease and um, sort of pull yourself up and over and then pogo up and over to the right. And you've got a bit more of a better angle than what I just did, but I think I'm going to do what I just did from here on out just because it, it seems like it's it's much better it's it's just you don't have to yeah because the problem is when you get to the very top and you put your hammer in that crease uh you'll there's a chance that you'll slip off it's a very steep ledge okay so don't freak out here just lift yourself up and over the shopping cart now this part's pretty easy you can still mess up i suppose but i have never messed up here um this is the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen, and I am so glad that I was able to record this in, in, its, in its entirety. It's going to be a long video, but if you stuck it out, congratulations. Um, this is the end. All you need to do is climb this tower. And like I said, you can mess it up, I guess, but it's only if you... I mean, really, I don't ever do this, but I guess people can. My voice is cracking because it's like early in the morning and my face is all... It feels all weird. <clears throat> feels like I should have woken up a little bit more before I started recording. All right, so... Yeah, you can mess this up, obviously. If you jump and sort of push yourself off the right side, you'll fall, you know, to the left. And worst case scenario, you hit the snake and you fall all the way back down. So, you want to just do nice angles. Uh, at the end of the day, if you, you know, just go from from where my hammer is now and then swing like this up and around, I mean, it's going to be really hard for you to have the force to push yourself all the way to the left. So, just... Do it smart, man. Do it smart. We're going to pogo up here and grab the right side now is what we're going to do. <coughs> See, even if you do that, it's all good because you have a bit of leeway here. Uh, the developer was nice enough to, you know, provide that at least. And what I just did there is kind of... Oh, yeah, that's right. I forget. Usually what I do here is I swing up. I don't perch myself on that ledge. Yeah, so um, we're going to grab... We're going to grab this little satellite here. Okay, come on now. This part's not hard. <laughs> Everything else was, but this part is relatively easy. All right, we're going to swing up. There we go. That's what I want. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, he'll do that all the time in, like, every jump pretty much in the game. It's really annoying. That might be too low. See, that could have been bad there. All right, I need to take my time here. I'm trying to rush it since we're at the end. Oh. Yeah, like I said, I've never messed up here uh, royally where it's just like, game over, man. All right, let's do this nice and slow. So reach up. <laughs> uh, getting some performance ang performance anxiety. Reach up. Grab it. Okay. Now, swing up. Okay. Now, um, what we're going to do here is actually, yeah, wedge ourselves. Okay. And we can grab this little red light instead of uh, that satellite below us. And what we're going to do here is... This is pretty much the final swing. Ooh, that's a little... Yeah. Oh, my God. This never takes me this long. I swear. <laughs> I might have to actually cut until I get to the very last thing. Because it's taking... Yeah, I'm doing all sorts of things that I don't want to do. Like that. All right, let's... let's Come on. This part's not even hard. Just close it out. All right, well, that works. Okay, uh, we're going to pogo up and grab... As long as we grab that last one up there, we're, we're good. Actually, I lied. We need to grab that one up there. Oh, 
Oh my god, man. This really doesn't want me to, uh, doesn't want me to close it out. Okay, I'm gonna try to get one more time on this area, and if I don't do it, I'll just cut till I get to the, to the top. Okay. Yeah, I think we just need to, no, we need to get up to here. And then we just need to get up to that one, and that's it. But the problem is my hammer's getting wedged in a weird area. Yeah. All right, screw this. I'll, I'll see you guys when I get to that freaking platform. Jesus Christ. Okay, my God, this has taken me, like, so long. I, I, it's, it's embarrassing how long it's taken me to finish this off. I, <laughs> see, stuff like that. Oh, my God, it's seriously, it's ridiculous. I have never, like, I'm getting stuck on this part way more than I'm getting stuck on, like, parts that are 100 times harder. Uh, it's probably just, like, trying to, you know, finish it off. It's, it's weird. It's a weird feeling. Uh, we're gonna try to slip off this red light, or, I guess, pogo off of it. Okay. Alright, so what we can do is we can pogo off of this one. And grab that. Okay, now if we can just rest on this, we're done. We're done with the game. If we can just, like, rest right on top of it. Come on. Okay. Now, I think we are done. Because for this one... Yeah. What it, what the game... Or do we still have to go up one more? Oh, no. no, no, no. We can we can be here. Yeah. So what we can do here... This is a little uh, trick from the speedrunners. We can just pogo straight up and out. And we will beat the game. Like... So... Yeah. Don't be scared. <laughs> I know it's, it's scary, but just you don't have to get to the very top because you could still spaghetti on the top and just screw yourself over. So you'll float up a little bit and you'll come to this. No. Wait a second. Oh. Okay, I was going to say, I've never gone to the right like that. Did I just screw myself over? I'm pretty sure once you get to the floaty bit, um, you cannot lose the game, but I still don't oh. know. So we're going to just get to the top of this rock, and we are going to beat the game for the third time, which was pretty, probably pretty slow. I'm going to estimate that that was like two and a half hours uh, to three hours. We're just going to launch ourselves up. No. And we won. Yeah. Uh, we'll see the time in a second here. Oh, my God. Ugh. Yeah, so that's how to beat... That's a complete guide slash walkthrough slash let's play of getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Uh, what really sucks is I've beaten this game three times now, and it's not even out on Steam, which I assume is going to have achievements, which means the only thing I have to show for it is that... Uh, oh, and that reminds me. Well, I'll take a screenshot when I get to my time. The only thing I have to show for it is screenshots, which really sucks, because I'm sure there's going to be uh, rewards on Steam. Although, I prob I'll probably just buy it and beat it on Steam as well. Um, might as well, right? If I've put so much effort into this game, so much practice, over and over and over again. Whew! Yeah, that was a pretty, um, you know, it wasn't a really terrible run, but at the same time, there was a lot of places where I messed up on, uh, had some, had some big falls, I guess, a couple of times. The bucket took a long time. Uh, the last time I beat the game, it didn't take nearly as long. That bucket is just one of those areas, for me, where it could just take, you know, four minutes or it could take, like, an hour to do. It's really annoying. Um, yeah, so going through this whole thing, my least favorite parts still of this game are that rock. Uh, that's my least favorite part, literally, of this whole game is that rock uh, where it's, like, the rock jump right before the anvil. I hate that jump so much with, like, a fiery passion. Uh, that jump, the anvil jump's pretty bad, too. And the bucket. Those three parts are really the trickiest parts uh, for me, personally. Um, the Devil's Chimney was the hardest when I was first starting. It was it, that, that one stopped me for a lo uh, quite a long time, and I was cursing it out, and I was just like, why does this exist for a very long time? But now, clearly, it's not an issue. Uh, so I hope this helped you guys out. We're about to see our time here in a second. You do get a reward, but I'm not going to show it. I'm going to um, respect the developer's, wish it, uh, the developer's wishes. He doesn't want you to show this if you're recording or if you're streaming. And trust me, it's not it's not that great anyways. So, oh, when I, oh, I actually beat my time? Wow. Yeah, my first time was 12 minutes or 12 hours, um, 30 
or 50 something minutes and I did all of that on stream. Second time was an hour and 30 minutes. This time was an hour and 12. Wow, that is really surprising. I thought it would have been like two and a half hours. Okay, so you can see it says, want to see the reward? I solemnly swear that I'm not recording or streaming this as it would spoil the reward for other climbers. I, I really don't like that he did this because you can look away. It's I mean, it's not like, you know, people have an option to look away and he'll ban you uh, from the reward if you... Uh, show it. So I'm, I'm going to respect his wishes. I'm not going to show it. If you guys really want to know what it is, it's easy enough to just look it up. You can figure it out. Um, trust me, it's not like I'm not hiding some great grand reward from you. So it's 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 not like, you know, you're missing out on something amazing. But yeah, look it up if you want to. I'm just going to follow his advice. Uh, thanks for watching this guide, guys. I know this is a bit different from a normal Sub Saturdays if you're one of my subscribers and if you're not, welcome to the channel. Hope you found this interesting. Hope you found this um, helpful in any way, shape, or form. Um, this game is really fun and addicting to me, which is why I've beaten it three times now. And I'll probably beat it for at least a fourth when it comes out on Steam. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.